Good day everyone and welcome back to Lunken Plays Minecraft. So uh, welcome back guys. Uh, I have returned from my pretty long vacation. So um, as you may be aware I haven't put out many videos especially Minecraft since I left a couple months ago. Um, and so while I was gone it, that was mainly because my laptop couldn't handle Minecraft, uh, at least in the detail uh, or quality that I wanted it to, so I couldn't really make any videos, but I have been pretty active in the game, and uh, so let me just show you what I've done so far. I tried not to do anything big, uh, mainly stuff that would be time consuming on video that, you know, something that I didn't really have to show. Uh, and other things that are just are boring to watch so I did these kinds of things mainly uh, so to start with I put a lot of hoppers in here um, all the way up to that point over there used up tons and tons of iron which as you may assume I had to mine many, a couple months to get but um, I still have a lot left so we're gonna have uh, we're gonna use that for some other things. As you can see, the sheep farm is doing well. I decided to put some uh, ladders around to make it easy to get in, and one ladder to get out over there. Um, it's better than me having to like jump out and hoping that they don't follow me up. So um, that is mainly it. I didn't do a lot of uh, modifications to our mob spawner. Uh, besides this, uh, the adding all the hopper side because I noticed that inside uh, when you drop an item up there, it would end up getting um, a lot of it wouldn't actually get sucked up by the hopper down here, and would end up getting despawned. So uh, this made it much more efficient, uh, and through that I was able to get so much more. Another big thing I did was, uh, as you can see, I hate coming out here. Uh, for uh, simple things like these mobs try to attack me when I come out, so I ooh, he called me. I guess he's not gonna he's gonna try to swim up, so it's okay. But basically, I, I get tired of walking outside uh, with mobs shooting at me just to go up to the mob spawner, and also um, it just it didn't make sense that I would have to uh, walk this far, especially at night. So I put an underground passageway kind of uh, from our home all the way to the spawner. As you can see, these are the hoppers leading all the way up to the mob spawner. So all the items that come from up there will come through here and to our underground railway system that delivers it to our house or inside our house. Um, and another great thing that you'll notice is I've spent a lot of time decorating. Uh, a lot of these things aren't permanent it's just I want to try things out so here as you can see a mixture of stone and cobblestone uh, to make this uh, look kind of nice since it is now a part of my house uh, and yeah so this is connected straight to our uh, staircase r almost right after the house part so as you can see this is the house um, and yeah, puts up eight things up. And uh, so as, as you go down, the first thing you see is this like really nice area. And going this way is how you get to the mob spawner. If you continue down, uh, as you can see, I did more decorations with paintings and uh, with this kind of new unique design uh, with, with wood to make give it a kind of modern twist. So again, uh, I want to try some different things with lighting. So I have these hidden lights now uh, in the walls and they kind of don't appear outside. Also, I went for the glowstone instead of the torches because it felt much more uh, elegant in this situation. So as you can see, now the glowstone is up here with the portraits and stuff inside the walls. Some walls actually uh, you can see right through which is still fine and the light's still up there so it eliminates the purpose of having uh, uh, torches visibly there 
and it kind of looks cool so I think I'll keep it this way but as with any of my projects I normally add to it and make changes as necessary um, also as you can see I've been doing a lot of farming uh, because food is kind of important now since I've been doing tons of mining uh, so to keep up with the mining I kind of had to also farm a lot and here's the result of that and I find that these grow really fast um, I thought uh, that I would eventually have to expand this to um, allow for more more uh, like faster production but honestly it's, it doesn't matter this is uh, this comes up really fast and I've never had the need to like wait for them to grow they were, I always had a uh, great supply so um, those are some of the things I did uh, towards the farming area also if you uh, keep looking down mainly just the decorations with the art and everything it, I took it to all the other rooms and to uh, here I had to make a few changes uh, into my mushroom uh, farming area because um, there was a creeper blast actually it wasn't even I, I wasn't actually planning on doing any, anything here but there was a creeper that spawned up there because I didn't put any torches and the creeper fell and blew up and kind of damaged a lot of the wiring I did behind this wall for the automated uh, potion dispenser so um, yeah I had to do a bunch of wiring and fixed all that problems and along with it I fixed the wall and uh, besides this I've been farming a lot uh, not farming sorry mining and also in the nether I, I've done a lot of uh, exploring mainly not for uh, not for like mobs or anything like that but uh, for glowstone um, yeah, let's stop that. Um, so as you can see, uh, see these paths, uh, I kind of made a path going all the way, uh, pretty far actually, it's, it's like a, oh, like my feet, let me go back, uh, but yeah, I did a lot of exploration and, uh, my main thing I was looking for was, uh, glowstone, because, uh, I did a lot of glowstone work and I've, found a lot and there's still a lot more I need to get but um, for my purposes I think it's plenty so now for the thing that I spent the most time on uh, in the time that I had to play this and that is my storage room as you can see it is pretty much done uh, it took me days to do this uh, mainly because uh, I actually had to rearrange all of the boxes since I wanted to put the item frames on the side I also uh, redid the torches with glowstone uh, to, that way it looks kind of more uh, cleaner I guess uh, and my OCD was killing me that like there were the torches were everywhere whereas this is much more neat and uh, mirrored on both sides um, the sorting out part uh, it, this makes sense in my head but um, I see that it, sometimes it won't for you guys uh, but bear with me on this I try to keep the ones that I uh, the objects I need often closer to the front and the stuff I don't need as often closer to the back uh, like up there so food and everything is much more accessible and for the other stuff I could just go up and across and get whatever the other, other items are and it's working for me and as you can see with the cobblestone I have tons now so uh, yeah so the mining is really paying off and that's just been helping me with everything uh, and as you can see the glowstone um, I'm building so much uh, glowstone items and uh, that's thankfully because of the pickaxe with uh, silk touch because having to make the remake the glowstone after breaking it would just be annoying so the silk touch really did help me with that also let me just quickly show you uh, 
the reason for the paintings kind of came later. I decided like uh, I didn't want to keep the valuable stuff here uh, because of mobs randomly spawning before uh, because I didn't have glowstone lighting because I had torches and I would randomly have a, a creeper or a zombie spawn up here and I would have to fight it off when I come in here. Um, so I actually built a room in here covered by this painting which is hollow that you can walk through. Yeah. So you will walk through this and uh, here is the room with uh, my valuable items I guess like coal, gold and uh, iron. Um, as well up here is my really valuable stuff like emeralds and diamonds. So as you can see I've compressed the diamonds into blocks to make it even easier to store and use much less room. And I lit this area up really well so mobs don't come in here. So, uh, or spawn in here. So it's actually a pretty decent idea and it kind of looks cool to have a hidden room. Um, yeah, and I just tried to make it really easy to maneuver in here. So, as you can see, these uh, catwalks around the sides allow you to kind of pass from one side to the other side without having to uh, go up or down. And it just it makes the usage of the storage area much much better now uh, there are a few other things I've been probably forgetting to mention but that's all right um, where oh yeah, I extended the storage here more uh, yeah uh, that's one of the things but um, my goal for today uh, since we're pretty much halfway into the video now is uh, since we're at least caught caught up but I want to let you guys know is that I want to have a, a furnace area, um, like a furnace room, because as you can see, the only furnaces that I have are two up there. Uh, let me actually show you. And I found that recently I've been doing a lot more uh, use uh, uses of. Wow, that came up wrong. Um, I've been using the furnaces way more. To make uh, food as well as uh, well, yeah, iron and also like stone and everything since I got rid of a lot of the cobblestones that I uh, like random cobblestone everywhere I replaced it with stone and I want to continue to doing that more for example like these walls here I want to try to uh, replace this cobblestone with stone and uh, or make it a more uniform look so uh, either way I want to uh, come up with a way to do this easier um, easily since I'm gonna continue to need more food and uh, more resources uh, for, from the furnace so I decided since um, this ended up not taking too much room and since we don't need to store any of these items here and we could just take it into the big storage room and sort them sort them out like right off the bat so uh, I decided to cut half of this room out and turn it into the furnace room that way the entrance to the the entrance to this area would be uh, blocked off or not blocked off but it would come here and it will only have access to this area and the furnace room ha will be uh, access from the back at least for now that's what I'm thinking maybe I may put a door here but uh, we'll see how that goes um, and another thing I want to do is I want to make the furnaces uh, slightly automated and so what I'm thinking is uh, no let's make a couple and uh, so I have seven furnaces so what I was thinking was using hopper since now I have a lot more iron I think I could do that and uh, using hoppers I, I would be able to load that a lot more items into the furnace and also have the resulting objects come to a chest look like so actually you know what the hop uh, they should probably go um, here yeah that looks right and hmm. I'm gonna keep it 
like this for now and I just I don't want to make it look bad that's it uh, yeah that looks good and I used up all the point of this so let's try this um, I'm gonna need a lot more chests I'm not sure what I need to Okay, I'm gonna make a few more chests. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've, been, I've also been uh, doing a lot of uh, wood uh, farming. I've been cutting down a lot of the dark oak woods, and since they they make a lot more, uh, how do you say? It? Says the yield on the dark wood trees are uh, the dark oak wood trees are uh, really good. I decided to do a lot of dark wood usage since it doesn't matter what type of wood you use to make these items. And uh, since I'm in a biome where they grow, it's it's just it's the best option. Um, so I'm gonna get a few more of these and. Uh, Make some offers first. Oops. All right, so um, that should be enough for now. Let's make some offers. I like using a uh, shift and clicking to uh, distribute them, but it makes it hard to do so without using uh oops let me see let me get a few more iron yeah so yeah sometimes I lose my train of thought because I'm trying to do something uh but uh yeah I I like using shift and mouse click to distribute items amongst the uh different slots of the crafting table it's just a much faster way of doing things. So, uh, as you can see, it distributes pretty well. Only problem is if you're making something like a hopper, it has an abnormal shape, so it's hard to use the mouse. But, uh, yeah, let's kind of try out one and see if that works. And if that works, then we'll do a few more. Um, let me get some raw meat. And as you can see, like everything is laid out in a way, it's it's easy to find it. And since these are things I'm gonna need to cook, it's kind of makes sense that the furnace thing is right here. So uh, what else do I need? Oh yeah, I need coal. But uh, let's build this first. So uh, the chest would go here, and and this would go here. So all the everything that's uh, done being cooked will go into here. And this could actually be a double chest. Um, the hopper should go here and here, and two chests will go here. So that should be the basic design. Uh, maybe even a double chest just like that. And I actually forgot to get the coal. So right now I'm just trying to find an easier way to get up here up down there uh, once I find that then it should be okay um, but yeah I just want to see if this automation system will actually work if it if it does what I want it to do so oh I need to dig up here so yeah I hope that's not going to be a problem it's if it is I'm gonna have to dig down into the ground because up here I believe is the is it um, actually it looks like stairs. Okay, hopefully it's gonna be okay because up up here is the storage area. So if I dig into that, I don't. It's gonna be a mess. So yeah. So uh, yeah. This will feed in the coal, and this will feed in the item that needs to be cooked. So I'll be and. Let's see. Is it waiting to fill up or something? 
Um, maybe it needs to be fed in from the top because something's uh, working in that manner. Okay, let's try that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking it needs to be fed from the top. That's the only explanation for why it's not working. You may be thinking I should have done the research earlier, um, but that's just not how I do things. Oops, why did why did it work? All right, so that's it. That's the reason it needs to be fed from the top, um, which means I'm definitely gonna have to dig uh, dig this a bit lower because. Um, it's just that's not it's not gonna work like this if, if I have to reach up there. It should just be really easy, really simple, just feeding it in. And uh, I'm just thinking whether or not I need to put make it so that all the coal can be fed from one item. Mm. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna work on this, and I'll show you what I think. Uh, next episode once we're pretty close to the end of this one but uh it seems to be working it seems to be outputting everything and this chest is being filled up with these uh items so you know it's working um and since it actually does feed in from the top you could just add on to this with more hoppers and that way it just will kind of be non-stop i don't even need all of these um, but we'll see the more it the more there is the faster it does the production since there's going to be what seven yeah seven uh, furnaces cranking away so seven items for every cycle whatever the cycle is versus whereas if I just added a bunch of hoppers with a bunch of feeders it'll still go one by one through the this one machine so it is more efficient to have more I may not lay it out in this way though. I might just do like a line lineup or something like assembly line. Um, anyway, so this is definitely a good start. I'll show you guys in the next episode what I decided to go with. So um, again, uh, welcome back. I hope to continue to do more videos. Um, so as usual, guys. Uh, if you want to like this video, subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.